This video is brought to you by Lancet Clinical Laboratories Zimbabwe in collaboration with the ENT Group Zimbabwe. In this video, we will demonstrate the technique for collection of oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swabs. There are two main points to highlight prior to the demonstration of these techniques. One, only use sterile Dacron or Rayon swabs with plastic shaft or flocked shaft. Please note, do not use calcium alginate swabs or wooden swabs as these may inactivate the virus. Two, check to ensure that you have all the appropriate materials and arrange them prior to starting the sample collection process. Here is a list of the materials needed. 1. Nasopharyngeal swab 2. Oropharyngeal swab 3. Goggle 4. Gloves 5. Surgical mask 6. Viral transport media vial 7. Marker 8. Scissors 9. Tissues 10. Tongue depressor 11. Biosafety bag 12. Soap and water or alcohol-based sanitizer Step 1. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or alcohol-based sanitizer Step 2. It is important to wear appropriate PPE in the following order A cap Mask Goggles Gown apron and gloves. Step 3. Remove the viral transport media vials from the packaging and label them with the date and patient identifier. Step 4. Ask the patient to blow their nose. Step 5. Position the patient in a comfortable position with their head against the wall. Step 6. Remove the oropharyngeal swab from its packaging and insert it into the posterior oropharynx, rubbing it over the tonsillar pillars and post oropharynx. Avoid touching the tongue, teeth and gums. Step 7. Place the oropharyngeal swab into the vial with the viral transport media. Aseptically break the shaft so that the lid closes tightly. Step 8. Remove the nasopharyngeal swab from its packaging and insert it into the nose, parallel to the floor of the palate, not upwards, until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from the ear to the nostril of the patient, indicating contact with the nasopharynx. Gently rub and roll the swab and leave it for a few seconds to absorb secretion. Step 9. Place swab in the vial with the viral transport media and aseptically break the shaft so that the lid closes tightly. Step 10. Place the viral transport media vials in a Ziploc plastic bag. Step 11. Place the Ziploc bag with the specimen viral transport media vials into the secondary specimen container. Step 12. When collection is complete, Dispose of all PPE in the biosafety bag. Step 13. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water or an alcohol-based sanitizer. 